Okay, let's take the 41st question that is from 3D. If the line x minus 3 upon 2 equals y plus 2 upon minus 1 equals z plus 4 upon 3 lies in the plane lx plus my minus z equals 9, then l square plus m square is equal to. Four options are given. So, simple one, a line is lying in a plane. Meaning, we can clearly see that since the line is lying, so the product of direction ratios of the line and normal that is simply 0, the dot product of the two vectors. So, that gives me from the line 2 minus 1 and 3 are the direction ratios and for the normal of the plane it is L m minus 1. So, we can say 2 L minus m minus 3 equals 0 as equation number 1. Since the line is lying on the plane, so every point of the line is satisfying the equation of plane. We have 1.3 minus 2 minus 4. Put this point here. So, we have 3 L minus 2 into m minus z into minus 4 that is plus 4 is equal to 9. The point 3 minus 2 minus 4 substituted here. So, solving equation 1 and 2, we can get the value for L and M as L equals 1 and M equals minus 1. Therefore, we can get the solution required that is the value of L square plus M square as 2. So, we can see option number 3 is the correct one. Therefore, option 3 is correct. So, this is clear. Okay. Let us move to the next one that is 42 from trigonometry. If x is lying between 0 to 2 pi including endpoints, then the number of real values of x which satisfy the equation cos x plus cos 2x plus cos 3x plus cos 4x equals 0 is. We can take any two for the pairing first and third or first and fourth anyone. Let us start with first and fourth. Right, applying cos c plus cos d, we get here 2 cos c plus d by 2 that is 5 x by 2 cos 3 x by 2 plus 2 cos 5 x by 2 into cos x by 2 equals 0. Right, so this gives me either cos 5 x by 2 is 0 or cos 3 x by 2 plus cos x by 2 is 0. There again we can apply cos c plus cos d to get 2 cos x into cos c minus d by 2 that is x by 2. This gives us 5 x by 2 equals 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 x equals here cos x equals 0 that is x equals 2 k plus 1 pi by 2 and x by 2 equals say 2 l plus 1 pi by 2 where n k l these are integers. This is clear substitute the value for n k l starting from 0, 1, 2 or minus 1 whatever required. Since the interval is 0 to 2 pi, so we will be talking about the positive values substituting the values we simply get 7 solutions for this equation. So, we can say option 2 is correct. So, this is clear. Okay, Let us move to the next one. Okay, Let us talk about the question number 43 from area. The area of the reason some curve is given like y square greater than equals 2x and circle x square plus y square less than equals 4x x and y in first quadrant. Then we have to find the area. This is clear. So, let us draw the rough figure for the two. 
y square is greater than equals 2 x that is exterior of this parabola. Next x square plus y square minus 4 x less than equals 0 that is interior of the circle. So, we can find this is the required portion. So, for the purpose we first need the point of intersection of the two curves that is the circle and the parabola. So, solving considering as the strict equations we have y square equals 2 x and x square plus y square equals 4 x. Substitute here y square as 2 x to get x equals 0 or 2 right. So, we can see here the required portion is obtained as therefore, the required area equals integral 0 to 2 circle part minus part of parabola dx that is upper curve minus lower curve. Now, since we have obtained the point of intersection at 2 right center of the circle is also at this point. So, clearly we can see that this circle part is one fourth of the circle. We can directly say pi r square the area of the circle divided by 4 of the quadrant right. So, directly we can write here one fourth of pi r square the radius that is 2 units minus simply we need to integrate the parabolic part that gives you root of 2 x. Simplify substitute here to get pi minus 8 by 3. So, we can see from the given options option 1 is correct. So, this is clear. So, it is not necessary that we would be going through the integral part for the circular part. This is clear. Okay. So, let us move to the next one which is from vectors. Let a vector, b vector and c vector be 3 unit vectors such that a cross b cross c equals root 3 upon 2 multiplied with b vector plus c vector. b is not parallel to c, the angle between a vector and b vector is. So, simple one apply here vector triple product formula direct. This gives us a dot c into b vector minus a dot b into c vector equals root 3 upon 2 b vector plus root 3 upon 2 c vector. The question is about the angle between a vector and b vector right. a dot b term is used with c vector. So, equating the coefficients of c vector on each side we simply get minus a dot b equals root 3 by 2. a and b are unit vectors. So, simply we have minus cos theta that is if theta is angle between a vector and b vector to get theta as 5 pi by 6 since mod a mod b unity. So, we can see here from the given options option number 3 is the correct one. So, this point is clear ok let us move to the next one.